Have you ever thought about making games yourself while you were playing a certain game? If you are watching this video, most probably that your answer is yes. In this video, I will take you guys through how you can get started in games development. In my opinion, the best way to learn something is to start building directly. So here are 10 steps to build, publish and earn money from your first game. But before moving any further, make sure to smash the like button to support us, also subscribe and answer the notifications bell. You are posting two videos every single week and you don't wanna miss them. But now, let's just get started. 1. Choose your game engine. You probably don't know what a game engine is. A game engine is a software development environment with settings and configurations that optimize and simplify the development of a video games. A game engine might include a 2D or 3D graphics rendering engine that's compatible with different import formats, a physics engine that simulates real world activities, artificial intelligence that automates and responds to the player actions, a sound engine that controls sound effects, an animation engine, and a host of other features. Without a game engine, it would be so tough to make games. All you will see in front of you is code and more code. So the process of choosing which game engine is best for you requires a little bit of research about each engine. But I already did all the work for you. Check this video that's going to appear above now for a comparison between the most powerful three game engines, Unity Engine, Unreal Engine, and Godot Engine. But if you are still a beginner, I recommend you to start working with Unity Engine. Unity Engine will allow you to make both 2D and 3D games. It has everything that you'll ever need and there's a lot of AAA game studios that work with it. Plus, you don't need programming anymore to make games with Unity. Yes, programming will make you more powerful as a games developer, but thanks to visual scripting tool in Unity, you can make game logic without writing any line of code, just connecting some nodes. How cool is that? You can check this video in which I'm explaining more about visual scripting in depth. Now that you choose your game engine, let's move to the next point. 2. Learn the basics of your game engine. As any other software, you will need to start learning the basics of your game engine, the interface of the engine, the UI, the components, game objects, their characteristics, and so many other things. Learning those stuff might be a little bit boring right now, but once you will start building your game, you will have some amazing entertainment. I will provide you with some tutorials that I personally used to learn the basics of those engines. Depends on the engine you choose in the previous step, start learning more about it. 3. Pick a concept. Generate a few game concepts to see what kind of game you want to make. If this is your first game, make sure to start small. The biggest problem that I see beginners make time and time again is that they start making some AAA video game, they get tired of it, and they quit all this shit. Start small, start making a 2D video game, and don't rush yourself, you have all the time in the world. Well, not literally, but if you learn the basics well, the rest will be much easier for you. Explore different games genres and subgenres. See what's currently popular in the media, then write down a list of video games ideas that come to your mind. Logically, choose the game idea that might have the best potential. And also do remember that your game don't have to be good in order to be successful. After building few games, you will learn how to make games that feel good. This is the kind of games that get the most success. 4. Do your researches. After choosing the genre and the concept of your game, try to find other games in the same genre that have almost the same concepts and write down notes about them. What do you like about them? What you don't like about them? What's missing in the game to be more fun? And what you could do to increment the difficulty of each level? Those notes will be so helpful for you when you start building your game because you will already have a plan and pinpoint to follow. 5. Start building your prototype. In this step, you will focus on building your game's logic. You can take a cube as a ground, another one as walls, a capsule as the main character, and then start building your logic. You can build your game's logic even by writing code or by visual scripting which doesn't require any coding skills. Unity Engine uses c -sharp programming language, Unreal Engine uses C++, and Godot Engine uses GDScript which is very Pythonic. If you already have programming background, I recommend you to start learning the language of the engine you choose in step 1. It will be so much easier for you. If you know nothing about programming, worry not. 
You can use visual scripting which will allow you to build your game's logic, well, with only logic. It's so easy. So as I said, focus on building your game scripts and don't go so far. You will need to change some things. It's a normal step in the process of making games. 6. Take care of your game's artwork. Your game's logic is the core of your cake and your art is the icing and cream on the cake. It can be eaten without cream and icing, but it would be out of any feelings. This is a quote that I wrote myself while recording this video though. Now jokes aside, but I was kind of serious about it. You have to choose good artworks, and by good artworks I don't mean some 3D high quality AAA models, but some decent ones. There's a lot of AAA games that doesn't succeed, and also a lot of pixel art games that succeed well. It's all about your concepts and how your art feels. You can either make your own artworks, buy some assets from a store, or you can use some ready free assets that you can find online. If you want to make your own assets, you can use other softwares like Blender if you want to make 3D models, Last Pick Pixel Editor for pixel art, or even Photoshop and Illustrator to make 2D assets. But I recommend you to buy or get free ones. If you try to make everything yourself, you will be lost inside all of the things you are trying to do. 7. Build your game. Now it's time to start removing the cubes you made your prototypes with and start working with your artworks. Attach logic scripts to them, make animations, sounds, visual effects, interactive effects, and everything your game needs to start looking alive. After that, you will need to make more levels, but it would be easier since you have most of scripts ready for use. Don't forget to make a HUD system which is your player's health and karma for example. Work on an attractive UI to make your game appealing even at the first look. And now it's time for some final touches of yours. 8. Test your game. Testing your game is another important part. Even big studios do test their game but on a form of focus groups. Give your game to your friends and family members that you know will give you a useful feedback. You know, if you show it to your mom for example, she will say something like, yeah, it's so good sweetie, which is not a useful feedback. You want people who will give you time and will tell you the truth regardless of who you are. 9. Publish your game. Now it's time to publish your game. If you made a desktop game, you can sell it on the Steam store. If you made a console game, you can sell it on the console store and if you made a mobile game, you can publish it on the Android Play Store and iPhone's App Store. But before that, you have to pay close attention to how you are going to monetize it. Unlike Windows and consoles which allows you to sell your game only, on mobile you can either sell it, put ads on it or make an in-purchase system so players can purchase gems for example. Luckily. When you build a mobile game in Unity, you can export it for Android and iPhone at the same time. No need to change anything. Pretty crazy. 10. Market the finished product. Most of games developers think that they will build their game and then boom, they will start getting sales, downloads or wherever. But this is not the case. As a games developer, building your game is only half of the work. I mean, nobody knows you. How they are going to know about your game? When you finish your game, you will need to start some advertising campaigns so you can get some attention. You can use a professional marketing team's help in order to get the desired players. And then profits go into start flowing and players will keep growing without any more marketing. So this is the end of this video everyone, I hope that it was helpful for you. If you made it till the end, I appreciate you so much. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any question or feedback, subscribe and answer the notifications bell. I'm posting two videos every single week and you don't wanna miss them. And I'll see you in the next one.